folks, do you intend to sit for the 2022 NECO GCE examination, which is popularly known as the November, December uh, GCE examination? Then this very video is for you. This is to inform you that the registration process has started and it is ongoing. And it will be closing midnight, November 14, 2022. Do you know that? This video is meant to help you know the steps through which you re are required for you to register successfully. Through this video, I'll walk you through all the steps required. and we're going to inform you the amount of money you need in order to register for this examination. In case you don't know, through this channel, we give you hints about your examination and we drop timetable for every examination that you want to know about. Apart from that, we take you through learning to your need to know in order to pass successfully in any examination. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe, hit the subscribe button so that once our video are produced, you can be the first to get it. The no SSE external examination is majorly for candidates not in the school system and who wish to take this examination in order to complete their result or in order to use it for some other things. Now, in this video, we are going to show you how to apply for the NECO GCE 2022 examination. The NECO SSCE external registration fee is 17,800 Naira plus the stamp duty, which is 50 Naira. Now, for candidates who will be engaging in late registration, late registration will attract an additional fee of 1,000 Naira only. Now, for working section registration, working section registration means candidates who just want to register to sit for just one or two subjects. Now, the registration for working section will commence from 15th November and it will end on the 19th November 2022. And the cost for this working section is 25,000 Naira only per award per candidate. Now, all candidates should note that registration must be done a day before the scheduled time of the first subject or the paper they intended to sit for. Let's assume I'm sitting for mathematics. Before the first part, the first paper for mathematics will be taken, you should make sure that you have scheduled to pay uh, for this exam. You have registered for the work-in uh, part of the exam. Now, in this section also, we'll now look at the mode of payment. Now, candidates who intend to pay for this exam can visit the www.neco.gov.ng website, which you are seeing now on the screen. Once you get to this website, you will be shown how to activate and create an account. And after creating an account, you will have to pay into the NECO TSA account the sum of 17,800, which we have said earlier on. And through, you pay through the all, all through these few options. You can pay through your ATM card using the internet banking, the USSD, the wallet, or your bank branch. You should note that scratch card will no longer be used for all NECO transaction. Now, after payment, all candidates is required to uh, get, uh, to go offline for their registration. And to carry out your registration offline, you are required to provide a passport size photograph, which is required for the registration. And that passport size photograph must not be less than six months old. It should have a white background and it can also, uh, you can also use in the registration center, you can also use a system PC to snap the passport size registry, uh, photo at the registration center. Also, candidates should note that the biometric fingerprint will also be required to be captured at the offline registration center for each 
candidates. Now, the importance of a biometric verification exercise is that it will be used to check you in during the conduct of the examination. And if your fingerprint does not match, you know what that means. That will mean impersonation of the original candidate. So make sure that your biometric fingerprint is properly captured. Now, what are the application procedures? Now, on this page, you are going to see the application procedures. Candidates will be required to do what? To sign up or log in. Now, if you have not signed into the account before, the first thing you'll be required to do is to click here to what? To register. And for you to register, you'll be asked your full name as a candidate, your phone number, your email, your password, and then you ask to confirm your password, and then you click what? Register. Once you click register, an email will be sent to your, uh, the, uh, a, a message will be sent to your email where you'll be required to take the second step, which is to activate your account. And once you activate your account, that email, you click that email and follow the instructions in order to activate your account. In case you check for that email in your inbox and you can't find it, you have to check your spam folder. It will definitely be sent to you. Now, having done that, having activated your account, the next step you need to do is to come over here and do what? And log in what? And log in here. Once you click login, you'll be required to put in your email, your email you registered with, and the password you use for your registration. Once you log in, you'll be required to what? The step two will be require you to make what? Payment. Once you make the payment, you'll be used, you'll be asked to make payment through that five uh, options we have provided for you. And it's going to be an online payment. Once you make that payment, you'll be given a four digit exam token. Now, this is a token that you will be you'll be required to take what online you take take to uh, the registration offline to continue your registration offline. So once you have paid, you register, you key in some data. That is the registration online candidate. That's step three. You register candidate online, and then you look for locate for a cafe operator that is close to you. Now, the link to a cafe operator has been dropped in the description sector section of this video. You have to go there and just click the link and it will take you to uh, a location. You are required to check this location in order to check, you know the location that are closer to you. Once you click the link, you'll be taken to this page. And in this page, you will find the various uh, uh, center uh, offline registration center or points that are close to you. Like this is the person, Mustafa Kankaru, Kankarufi is the person in charge of uh, this area, FCT. If you are in FCT, then you can reach out to him or you send an email to him or you go to the center. This other one is in Lagos, 322 three, Road, uh, one, uh, Close block 3F, that is in Lagos State. If you are in a quiet state, you check for the states that are closer to you, and that way you can be able to register smoothly for the examination. After you have finished doing that, in that center, you'll be asked to come capture your biometric. You capture your biometric, and your passport photograph will be taken. Now, once you have captured your biometric and your passport photograph is taken, you'll be required to print, the, at that center, they will print a photo card for you. That photo card will contain a clear passport of yourself, a passport photograph of yourself, and also a space where a referee at the need to be what attest, a referee attestation is required to be done. The offline registration agent will print it and give a copy to you alongside with the word, the timetable for the examination. Now, in that photo card, a space will be provided for you to uh, fill 
a referee attestation. Now, what is a referee attestation? A referee attestation is for somebody, is there for someone to attest that they truly know you and you are responsible enough to take this examination. Now, the question is, who are those that are, are able and capable to attest for you? One of those persons should be the principal of a recognized senior secondary school can attest for you. A senior civil servant, not below grade level 14, can attest for you. An ordained clergyman or a chief imam can attest for you. An illegal practitioner uh, with not less than 10 years experience can also attest for you. They will sign and then put their stamp uh, as they attest for you. Once you have finished doing this on your photo card, you have to go home with your photo card. And on the date of your examination, make sure that you go to your examination center with your photo card because your photo card will contain your exam number and everything you need in order to sit for your examination. Are you preparing to register for this examination? This detail is good for, for you. And with this detail, you are good to start off your registration. If you like this video, I want you to hit the subscribe button and make sure you share this video to your friends. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that once our subsequent videos are produced, you can be able to have them. Now, for more details about the examination timetable and other link, check the description section of this video and you'll get the links you want for whatever you need. Thanks so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you watch a subsequent video.